Hello, my people of Hyrule, the Mushroom Kingdom, Dreamland, and Inkopolis, and so on. It's Xavier again, and time for Nintendo Talk! Wahoo! And this topic is Game of the Year. And you won't believe the winner. Well, I'm pretty sure most of you know. But Breath of the Wild won the Game of the Year. And Mario Odyssey won the best family-friendly game, and Mario Plus Rabbids, the best strategy. But more importantly, Nintendo won the game of the year. And the reason why is because of the Switch. Because the Switch has a lot of big games on it, and Nintendo and more of them and and my reaction when i saw that was like oh my god oh my oh my god nintendo won and i was so very happy for nintendo because of those big two of the biggest titles breath of the wild and super mario sorry super mario odyssey well, as you know, Breath of the Wild gets crowned Game of the Year. And Mario gets the family friendly. He gets the best family friendly game. And Breath of the Wild gets most of them. Though I, was, though I did know, know that Breath of the Wild was going to win. I kind of knew that, but I still had hope for Mario because that because Mario Odyssey got a lot of good reviews and Breath of the Wild did too. So Nintendo couldn't really decide which one, which franchise or I should say title they liked best or would say the game of the year. And more importantly, Nintendo won the big N one and my reaction oh my god of course Nint oh my god of course Nintendo would win because of the switch and because media was kind of complaining and saying stuff about the Wii U because the Wii U didn't really sell as much but when the switch came it was it brought Nintendo out. Nintendo totally found the rainbow in the rain and the stars in the dark. Because you know the quote, when it rains, find a rainbow, and when it's dark, find the stars. And that's the thing that Nintendo did. And another thing I just, most of us fans found out that Satoru Iwata, the former president of Nintendo who passed away July 11, 2015, he originally was working on the Switch during his illness, while battling his illness, which we're all very proud of. And look at Nintendo. Thank you, Iwata. Wherever you are on heaven, us fans would hope to see you whenever we pass away. Anyway, reason why? Ah, uh, forget it. Anyway, anyway, the, the Nintendo won Game of the Year. It's all Nintendo. And reason we have all those biggest, big games on the Switch, Nintendo or not, like we got Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Sonic Forces, Splatoon 2, Mario Plus Rabbids, Kingdom Battle, Skyrim, Super Bomberman R, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Fire Emblem Warriors, 1, 2, Switch, Rayman Legends Premium Edition, And so much many more. 
and and this it's gonna be a very very big year for Nintendo 2018 because because we got more surprises coming. Nintendo said don't expect just their traditional IPs or intellectual properties. That well, that means don't don't expect just Mario or The Legend of Zelda or Metroid or Kirby or Pokemon or Splatoon or Donkey Kong or whatever. Expect more more of expect more Star Fox maybe if Nintendo decides to bring it out or F Zero. Same thing what I said with Star Fox. Animal Crossing definitely expect that. Pigmen definitely expect Pigmen and Fire Emblem. Definitely expect those. And and uh, I don't know what else is. Oh yeah, and Nintendo and or I should say Sega, they announced Bayonetta three coming soon to Switch and. And Bayonetta 1 and 2 is going to go to the Switch. Though I'm not much of a Bayonetta fan, I'm, I'm pretty happy for the franchise. And I might change my mind later and get it. Who knows? And Capcom definitely just announced Mega Man. Mega Man 11 is coming to the Switch. And even Mega Man X com is coming. And even Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2, both of them are coming to the Switch. Capcom, you did very good. You did very well, Capcom. And I definitely cannot wait to get Mega Man because I never really played Mega Man. And it'll be my, my first time trying the Mega Man franchise out. And, and also, another reason why going to be a big year for Nintendo because of the direct that's coming to, that's coming January 2018 so and I cannot wait what Nintendo has to throw at us fans the surprises they have I mean don't just expect Mario and Zelda and Kirby and Metroid and Pokemon like I said before don't expect just those So gonna be a lot. I mean, Donkey Kong got hinted, so we might have a chance of seeing Donkey Kong, Pikmin Four, um, Animal Crossing, which may be likely, and the Fire Emblem main game. So, and maybe more on maybe Metroid. Prime 4 and Kirby Star Allies and the Yoshi and maybe we might see the new Pokemon RPG and and I must thank all the other companies that helped Nintendo Sega Capcom Namco or Bandai Namco Konami Square Enix Ubisoft Koei Tecmo Activision EA and so much more. This is going to be a great year for Nintendo if it weren't for them. And I just have to say, I'm very excited for Nintendo's future. I could picture Nintendo. Sorry. Phone is ringing, which I'll ignore. Anyway, as I was saying, it is going to be a very, very big year. And with the Direct, we got Switch, and AD just won Game of the Year 2017. I knew Nintendo could ace it. And I cannot wait for the other games that are coming. I mean, Nintendo really just loves to toy with every people, everyone's heart. And thank everybody of Nintendo who made the Switch happen. Thank you, Reggie. Thank you, Shigeru Miyamoto. 
and mostly thank you, Iwata. Without you, Nintendo would be nothing. And if we didn't have Mario, there wouldn't even be a gaming world. And anyway, with the Direct, I definitely would want to see Donkey Kong. Because Donkey Kong is... I love Donkey Kong. One of my other favorite games that, ain't, that isn't Mario. While Donkey Kong is in the same same universe, his own franchise, I actually love it. Same with Yoshi. I would love to see more of Yoshi. I would love to see more of Metroid. Metroid and Kirby. I know we're definitely gonna we're probably gonna see Kirby Star Allies in the in the direct and maybe Yoshi. Probably Pokemon too. And this and the surprise with and you're definitely gonna see, see, probably discussing more on Mega Man 11 and the other Mega Man games coming to the Switch. Definitely Bayonetta, and and I definitely would want to see Pikmin 4 being talked about. Donkey Kong, Yoshi, Kirby, Animal Crossing. Definitely would want to see. Star Fox and F Zero, or maybe Nintendo actually surprised the fans with a new Star Fox. I mean, Star Fox hasn't had a game since 2015, and I'm not really gonna count 2016, which because Star Fox Zero was delayed to there, so uh, I'm not really gonna count 2016 because Star Fox never had a game had a game since 2015. So that's the reason Star Fox should definitely come back to this to the Nintendo family. And F Zero, oh my god, that game, F Zero definitely has been on hiatus since 2004. With the last game being F Zero Climax, which is a Japan only release. And I'm definitely want to try out F Zero. That and Star Fox. Definitely would want Nintendo to surprise the fans sooner or later with a new Star Fox and F Zero franchise title with the to the Switch. Because, because, because I know Nintendo says F Zero isn't dead, and, and Nintendo means it. They mean, yeah, F Zero is not dead, says Nintendo. And and Nintendo really does want to make a new F Zero, and they and they want to figure out a new way to play F Zero. I know Nintendo definitely wants to make F Zero, which is where you have the Switch. Maybe Nintendo could take notes from other, from that other game like Neo Fast Racing or whatever that that title is called. That's like F Zero. Maybe Nintendo could take notes from that too. To make a new F Zero game, and Star Fox, that de that game definitely should come to the Switch. I mean, Star Fox should definitely barrel roll to the Switch, and then the Star Fox fans will be very happy. And if F Zero definitely comes to the Switch and then show their moves, that would make that would make me happy. It'll totally make me happy. But sorry about that. But anyway, I would definitely expect to see maybe uh, Donkey Kong, Yoshi, Kirby, Metroid, Pikmin, Animal Crossing, and and hmm, and that would be it. And I, that's what I could think of. Oh, oh yeah, Pokemon. I can't forget Pokemon. So I definitely would expect to see maybe Donkey Kong, Metroid, Pikmin, Kirby, Yoshi, Pokemon, Animal Crossing. And for now, for now, until Nintendo 
decides to put F Zero in Star Fox, or surprise the fans at hinting that it's in development. So hopefully, Star Fox and F Zero maybe get a game sooner or later. Like, I don't really care what year, late, mid, blah, 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 blah. late 2018, like maybe Pokemon with, or 2019 or 2020. I don't really care what year. I just want them back. I just want them to come back. And then also non-Nintendo definitely would, I definitely expect of course Bayonetta 3, Bayonetta and Mega Man. And some of the other games that deserve a, a chance on the Switch, honestly, Overwatch, Call of Duty, and uh, I thought Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. For me, Overwatch I never really played as played, but it's it looks pretty interesting. And Crash Bandicoot. I mean, I played Crash Bandicoot as a as a child, and I would definitely would want Activision to make a port. Make a port to the Switch. I mean, Crash Bandicoot deserves it. I mean, it's been on. I mean. Crash Bandicoot has been a been ported onto many Nintendo consoles like the DS, the I think the GameCube, GameCube DS, Wii, and Game Boy. Correct me if I'm wrong on one of those. And and from Call of Duty, I'm not much of a fan of Call of Duty, but for those fans who actually own a Switch and love Call of Duty, I say Call of Duty deserves a chance someday. Anyway, back on topic, I'm happy for Nintendo, and I really am waiting for the surprises. I mean, Nintendo says on their, on everything Nintendo, Nintendo actually says they would like to make non-traditional non the traditional IPs like I would I mean but like maybe smash F0 Star Fox and and that that's all I could think of definitely expect Donkey Kong Metroid Kirby Pikmin Yoshi Pokemon Animal Crossing Bayonetta, Mega Man, Eleven. Definitely expect those probably at the at the direct maybe, and then maybe at E three perhaps. If Nintendo has a surprise, maybe they could put maybe Star either F Zero or Star Fox, one of those titles, like the way they did Metroid Prime Four. And uh, and and also, for the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, Link is actually riding a mo motorcycle. You get the the guardian, I mean the the champions thing, and also you get to ride ride a motorcycle, which that was originally planned in early development. And oh my god, I could I could picture myself playing that, right riding the motorcycle as Link. I'm, Crashing into Bacoblins, Moblins, Lizalfos, and maybe even colliding into a bunch of Lionels, Silver Lionels, and and I would and probably to and even annoy Henoxes out of their sleep. So so I'll definitely so if and it said it was a free DLC, I think. And I'm gonna get that one, and I'm gonna go and run over a bunch of Bacoblins blends, and flatten a bunch of Lizalfos and Moblins, and then maybe ram into a bunch of Lionels. And Mario Plus Rabbids actually got a versus mode, and it's a free DLC. 
and I'm definitely want to get that one because which the game Mario Plus Rabbids, which most of us think we were, that was going to be a very bad game, but it turned out to be very good. And like I said, like maybe a couple, three, four, or five phases quotes ago, I'm definitely happy for, for Nintendo. I can't wait for their their exciting news on their franchises. Definitely waiting to hear back from him in my letter. Can't wait. Can't wait for Mega Man. I can't wait for Fire Emblem. Can't wait for Metroid. I can't wait for Pokemon or Kirby or Yoshi or Donkey Kong or Animal Crossing. If Nintendo. I definitely can't wait for those. And I'm definitely am gonna get Xenoblade for Christmas, Ultra Street Fighter, the Final Challenger, Sonic Forces, and uh, and Fire Emblem Warriors. I definitely cannot cannot wait for them. Anyway, that's about it. That's all I have to get out of my system. Anyway, if you love the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any comments or questions for me, please put them there in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.